Welcome to JHE Woodcraft. I'm Jedi, and today we're going to do a kind of a reaction slash uh, tool review but of software. So Vectric just launched their version 12 of VCarve Pro, and I'm going to give you my thoughts, reactions on it, what's changed, and I'll also link to their website where you can update, get that the latest one if you don't have it already that hasn't already dropped for you or if you want to look at upgrading and they also have some kind of a list of some things that have changed so with that grab a drink let's get started first off when i loaded up the software uh it did migrate all my settings and files and history tool history and all that stuff over the the, the tool database over to 12. It did not upgrade 11.5, it installed in tandem. So I've got 12 and I've got 11.5. So just be aware of that. If you don't need 11 anymore, then uh, you can uninstall it after the fact. So what's changed visually? A lot, lot nicer in terms of uh, higher resolution graphics. The UI is a little bit cleaner. Uh, let's see, our icons are a little more crisp. Let's create a new file here and we'll see what some of the new features are that have changed or have added. Uh, so this looks pretty similar in terms of the job setup. I'm just going to take the defaults because it's easy. Uh, they've moved some icons around. So a couple things right off the bat that I notice. I use the save button. It's not there anymore. <laughs> okay, so no more save button. Uh, the do this so good. Oh, there we go. No, I don't want that. Full screen. Come on. There we go. Okay. So uh save buttons change. I can still do control S, that will save. Uh what other things that have changed visually? They moved the 3D model tools out of the used to be a modeling tab. Now it's just components, and they moved the modeling tools up to the front. That makes sense. Uh, it didn't really took me a while to realize where they were at uh, previously. So I think that's a good thing. Uh, other new features, one that I noticed, you don't have the uh, import the two import graphics buttons. So before you had one for bitmaps and another one for SVGs or vector images. Now it's just one import. And it looks like it combines them both. So I'm going to import an image here. And this is a bitmap, not a, <clears throat> not a, uh, a vector or a SVG file, a vector image. It's just a bitmap. So one of the reasons I wanted to bring this in was to show one of the new features that looks like we've got. And that's over here in our toolpath, this sketch carving toolpath. So with this, I have the ability of selecting the image, click this sketch carve, and it will actually calculate the bitmap and do essentially an outline of it. There were some other ways to do this previously, but this does it much faster, simpler. Uh, you know, so it's doing some calculations. We've got it here. Now, this the other thing this highlights is, you know, so I've got my image over here and now my cut path over here. Uh, let's go to our preview, which if you notice the icon change for that as well, that used to be kind of a 3D modeling looking thing. Now it's a play button. So we'll click on that and we'll preview this. And you see it just kind of does an etch around similar to what the image was. Uh, so that's a, that's a pretty cool ad. You can also do that with, uh, 3D images. So if you don't want to do a full 3D carve, so let's delete this, delete this image, and bring in a, uh, let's do a clip art. Move the sword here. All right, so this would be one that I could carve out using the 3D finishing, 3D roughing, or I can, let's do this trace again. Again, the new features, calculate that. 
oh, I need to change this. So I had a bitmap. Now we're doing a 3D model. Now we'll calculate based off of the 3D model. Close that. And let's reset the preview and preview that out. So again, it's just doing an etch around using the tool that's selected at the time. So that's a cool, that's a nice cool feature. Uh, that's an add. Let's remove that guy. Uh, some other things I noticed have changed. Let's go back to the design. I'm going to get rid of this 3D image. I think I'm going to. Going slow on me. Wake up. There we go. All right. So uh, text. Used to have two text buttons. One for text in a box and one for just drawing, regular drawing text. You'll notice now I've got the two options within the software. So the text in the box at the, the or just regular text at the top or text in the box, radial buttons. So let's do regular text. And then I will oh, click in here and it should be HD. And then we can use one of a couple of the new features over here. So one of the things notice is so I can move my obviously my text around here within the 2D view, which is normal, but I actually can also do it in the 3D view. So that's kind of a new a cool feature. Depending on what you're doing, that could be really helpful to see where things are moving around within that 3D modeling space. Uh, not just in the 2D. So the other new feature here is the vCarve uh, inlay. So this, when you do a vCarve inlay, it's going to use the tool that you have selected, and it's going to create two cuts for you, or two tool paths. One cut, one tool path for the inlay and the other one for the hole or the the slot that your inlay is going to go into so when i calculate it notice it does this whole thing where it's cutting everywhere depending on what i have picked let's uncheck that and i'm actually going to get rid of this one so if i'm doing just the plug that is actually cleaning taking down the material above the plug and leaving that part there or for the actual hole I can do it this way so we'll reset the preview so if we're doing the inlay or the hole that's how that's going to cut if we're doing the plug let's reset it it's going to cut all the material down to get it down to the point where the plug is the only thing that's sticking up. Now I'm going to stop it because we don't want to wait all day for this. Set to find a mess. There we go. Stop. Okay, so or I could speed it up and then you can see what the end result looks like. So notice it cut everything down except for where the plug gonna, is going to be. So you'd obviously want to maybe cut this down on a smaller piece of material for that piece. Uh, and then the hole is the inverse or if you're doing the same size material for the the inlay versus your plug then it actually moves it to the right place on the worksheet the work piece for you as well so i thought that was kind of cool all right other things that have changed uh this thing here with manage keep out zones i thought this was kind of cool uh, the other day I was working on a project where I was cutting a bunch of circles out of some uh, some flat material and I have clamps in various areas and maybe I just want to avoid my tools getting into those areas so I can create so I just draw in vectors and notice I can draw it on either piece on either area and then I want it to be uh, that plus half an inch and I'll create from selection. So what this does is creates an area that tools aren't allowed to go. So it actually blocks out this area 
will avoid uh, that will avoid my my bits hitting my clamps. So that's a cool new feature. I'm pretty happy about that. A couple things that have changed, just icon views, right? I this is one I use all the time, which is the recalculate. That uh, used to be like a calculator icon. Now it's a green recycle looking thing. Either way, does the same thing. So pretty happy with that. Um, like the ability to, to draw inside of the 3D view, the unified imports, just kind of recapping here. Uh, whoops, get out of here. In the text area or, or unified text, unified import for bitmaps. And then of course you can still do 3D model imports and they moved the 3D modeling tools to the top. There are some other, like your, your view changes here. So you can kind of, you have a little more flexibility around your views here. One of the things that used to frustrate me actually would be uh, if I was doing, <clears throat> excuse me, hold on, let me go in here, reset the preview because that's annoying. And we'll just do the inlay so we got something to look at. Okay. So, except for I didn't run it, reset it. Just run this one. Thank you. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to actually just get rid of this. The inverse for that project. Okay. One more time. And we're going to delete this. Okay. Really? Come on. What did I do? <laughs> it shows there. Did we find a glitch? When I when I get out of that view. Now I guess as I'm showing the cut and I'm showing where I'm at here. Okay, that's fine. Uh let's let's go ahead and just delete this for now. The tool path. And I'm going to delete the or reset the preview. All right. So you've got this ability now to kind of move around in your viewpoints. Uh, what you had before, you could kind of do a general move it, and but you had issues with doing things like zooming in on specific areas. So if I was making a complicated project and I really just wanted to focus in on, hey, this is the area that's different. Or this is what I, or it's really a large project, but I want to focus in on one section. Uh, it wasn't super easy to do that. So now you kind of zoom in on that area and we could move the view a little bit there. We should still be able to. Oops, that was too far of a zoom. <laughs> uh, so it gives, there we go, zoom in on that section. Uh, so that's that's a good update there as well. I think those, let's see what else has changed. Uh, we now have a sheet drop down. So this is new in terms of where it was at. You could do sheets before, but the location of it is a new location. Um, I think those are the big things that I found that I that really stood out. Most of the other tools stayed the same. Icons changed, a little prettier added some new features. Uh, I'm going to run a few cuts here and we'll see how well this works out. But overall, like in the updates, I'll link to the description of all the changes. Uh, if you're interested in any swag, I've got hats and shirts and things like that as well. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, with that, it's my turn to grab a drink.